Yep, guess what folks, bought another tent. More specifically, I've bought a brand new hot tent. So as it comes out the box, just under 1.7k, so not the lightest, um, but light enough to carry. So let's find out what's in the bag. The main fly sheet, uh, a couple of stuff sacks for pen, uh, pegs and poles. This is the main aluminium pole to put it up. We've got 12 fairly chunky um, Y-shaped pegs with pullers on them, which is good, good detail. A bunch of guy lines, I don't know how many there is in here yet, and these look maybe related to the guy lines, I'm not sure. And the important point is the stove jack, which is heat proof, and I'll have to cut that to fit the stove that I've bought, which is on its way. So it's a £70 tent basically, I'll put a link below, um, I think I bought it on Amazon. I've obviously paid for this myself, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, and it's in two parts, this is the main tent and I've ordered a stove which I'll show you on screen shortly. Um, which is not due till the end of the month. So anyway, I've pegged out the perimeter. It seems to have snow skirts on this one, uh, or rock skirts. So we've got this air vent, tubular one, a wee bit like the one I've got on my Rab. With a draw cord on it. Um, these are the main anchor points, they're not adjustable, fairly chunky pegs as I said before and quite long and I think you'll need it. Whilst also mentioning there's two doors in this, one at either side, which is good for venting and just getting in and out depending on the weather. Uh, just to show you, basically just shot corded, fairly chunky pole. So first lesson learnt there I think is just to loosely peg it. Not as tight around the circumference as I did. Looks a bit tidier. We'll get the vent open and we'll check out how these doors work. So there you are, you can see right through. Two doors either end. Two prop vents just above the doors, which is quite a nice wee detail. You'll need that. And they've got midgy mesh on them as well to keep the bugs out. And I'll just show you the stove aperture. So this is the rollback velcroed panel where you put your stove jack in. I'll roll that back in a second just to check it. Various guy attachments, everything is kind of standard fare, these are reflective as you can see. There's quite a few of these on the tent all round for extra guying. I think certainly I'd be fairly tempted to rock this down actually in the summer, well I say summer, but non-snow conditions. Um, and then when there is snow during the winter, just pile up around the sides. But yeah, for 70 quid, it's a lot of tent. It's a lot of fabric and a lot of stuff for the money, and it's actually surprising that it came with a stove jack. You normally have to pay about another 20 quid, 15, 20 quid, for one of them to fit in there. So it's just velcroed all around, and it uh, should just fit straight on the tent. And as I say, once I get the stove and I measure the chimney, we'll just cut a section out of here for it. So there you go, panel in place, not cut yet, but yeah, that seems to work alright. And this just rolls out of the way with a wee toggle. There's four guy lines, I think, here, but there's no runners on them at all. Then I've got these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these things. I'm not sure what they're for. Maybe to tie back the snow skirt. Okay, I've now added all the little snow valance cords, which are not enough to go around, basically. But I think you could detach that and attach it to that one, depending on the direction you needed it. There's only four main guy lines which I've added in the kind of north, south, east, west set up. There's no runners on them, so very basic, just tied knots at either end, attach them to the upper part of the tent. Yeah, it's a pretty roomy floor space, you've got to allow for a lot of room to pitch the thing for obvious reasons, it's quite a large floor area. Because it's polyester, all the seams are taped, and if you look up at the apex of the tent, it's reinforced. And again, taped here. The door design's quite nice because it doesn't fall in the dirt. It just zips up to the side and a single tie back. So this is how I envisage actually using this in winter. I've got a Neo Air X Therm under here. And on top of uh, a foil space blanket, which is nice and light. And then I've got my MacPack XP700 Sanctuary sleeping bag. And then on this side, the stove will sit down in here, over here and wood to the left and all my kit and then there's obviously enough room actually to get a second body in here or possibly running right along this way by the door so yeah looking good 70 pound it's a lot of tent for 70 quid um i'll put the specs up in terms of how waterproof it is tonight there's a 30 to 40 mile an hour gust 
forecast with heavy rain overnight, so I'm going to leave this up. May sleep in it just to test it, and we'll just see if there's any leaks in the morning. But yeah, so far so good. Part one of the hot tent project. The stove is on the way, which I'll show you on screen, but it's probably not going to be until early November. So, first part in place, and all we'd need now is the bad boy to get the thing uh, nice and hot. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Anything you want to know, just ask. And I'll keep you updated on how we got on in my first foray into hot tenting. But yeah, quite excited and looking forward to it.